So this is from lronhubbard.org, and people might wonder why an organization as powerful as the Church of Scientology is so railed against by the establishment, the media establishment, the political establishment, etc. Okay, and the re the reason why is because Scientology has committed the unspoken sin against the status quo. They recognize the danger of drugs and substances that do not belong in the human body, being in the human body, and provide an alternative to the status quo, to the establishment. So they provide a real alternative. Now, I'm not a Scientologist. People say I am, but I'm not. I swear I'm not. And my only goal is my support of Scientology's exposure of and promotion of an alternative to the establishment's subjugation of the people. So, L. Ron Hubbard long recognized what drugs potentially spelled in terms of human misery. It was the so-called psychedelic revolution of the 1960s that prompted his most intensive work in the rehabilitation arena. His reasoning was simple. No one can be spiritually free if chained to a, a chemical substance. Not only did drug abuse endanger one's health, but also one's learning rate, attitudes, personality, and overall mental acuity. Indeed, following a 1973 interview of what rampant drug use wrought among youths in New York City, he began to speak of his drug epi of this uh, drug epidemic in terms of devastating so of the of a devastating social cataclysm. And given what followed that psychedelic decade, including rampant cocaine and heroin consumption and all attendant violence therefrom, he was right. The social devastation proved very much a cataclysm, nor was the problem in any way limited to street drug consumption on the social fringe. On the contrary, and this is what's important because I'm going to be handling this in another series of videos dealing with brain shrinkage from psychiatric medication. So, on the contrary, with the, see the thing is, and this is, I'm not quoting the article, obviously. The problem you have with psychiatric and pharmaceutical medications, some of them, these things affect the brain so thoroughly. Some of them are worse, worse than street drugs. Okay? Like, I'll be honest. When I have done drugs in the past, like street drugs, okay, I've done marijuana. I've done mushrooms. I've done things like that. To be quite honest, the results were not as debilitating nor as long-lasting as the side effects I have received from psychiatric medication. Nor were they addictive to me. I didn't become addicted to marijuana. I didn't become addicted to mushrooms. With marijuana, I would say maybe as a youth I had a marijuana use issue. Okay? But I got over it. Okay? The situation that was caused most likely from Seroquel with my autonomic nervous system, that's not... That, that, that needed... A physician I had to go to a cardiologist to diagnose that and treat that okay I've never had to be treated for the uh, the the uh, what do you call it the marijuana or the mushrooms okay that never affected me so badly that I required any kind of treatment the psychiatric medication did so keep that in the back of your head and think about that next time Somebody tells you maybe you might need some anti-anxiety medication or some of this or some of that. The ramifications were altogether cultural. Moreover, with continued research through the 1970s, yet another insidious problem came to light. Even years after quitting drugs and repairing all immediate damage, the former user remained at risk and gravely so. 
Central to the problem lay what Hubbard identified as tiny residues of previously ingested drugs loaded in fatty tissues liable to activate at any time. In these residues that account for what is commonly termed the flashback and prove especially disturbing to those who experiment with LSD. Indeed, even years after ingestion, former drug users have found themselves on horrifying and unpredictable trips. Moreover, as Hubbard next discovered, street drugs were not, o not the only detrimental substances to lodge in fatty tissue. The fact is virtually every kind of drug, chemical poison, preservative, pesticide, and industrial waste that we regularly ingest can likewise embed in the body and do us harm. That discovery, and L. Ron Hubbard was unquestionably the first to recognize it, held profound ramifications. Consider, for example, the subsequent Environmental Protection Agency report admitting that the uh, admitting that the uh, the uh, I'm sorry admitting the average American consumes more than 700 potentially dangerous substances in the body. Okay, what all this spells in terms of ill health and shortened life, and agency cannot say, uh, the agency cannot say, but one fact is patently clear. From both Mr. Hubbard's original research and secondary medical studies, those toxic substances do much to diminish our ability to act, think, and perceive. The damage is done in this way, given a body is, essential, a is essentially a communication system with the brain acting as a switchboard for the translation of thought into action. Biochemical substances can be devastating. Now, I'm not going to read all this. You can read it on your own. But what you need to understand is I strongly encourage people to read Clear Body, Clear Mind by L. Ron Hubbard. Um, I've never done the purification program or the purification rundown. I've never done that. As I said, I'm not a Scientologist. I, th I do think they offer it to non-Scientologists, but I'm not somebody interested in participating in, uh, in anything religious. Okay. But the thing is, what you have to understand, levels of flame retardant, you know, these things are in the system, especially of veterans, people that have served in wars. And we're going to get into that when we go over PubMed. So this is what the book Clear Body, Clear Mind looks like. So this is from Criminon.org. This was L. Ron Hubbard's approach to helping criminals become rehabilitated. Okay. So, I'm just showing this. That this is why the establishment does not like Scientology. Scientology is a legitimate alternative to the establishment. So, what is the Purification Rundown? The Purification Rundown is a detoxification program which enables an individual to rid himself of the harmful effects of drugs, toxins, and other chemicals that lodge in the body and create a biochemical barrier to spiritual well-being. Uh, we live in a chemically oriented society. Virtually everyone is regularly subjected to an intake of food preservatives, pesticides, atmospheric poisons, and the like. Think about the Canadian wildfires. Okay, think about 9-11, think about the burn pits in Iraq, okay, add this to the panoply of medical and street drugs generally consumed and the gravity of the problem becomes obvious. These drugs and toxins can put an individual into a condition which not only pro uh, prohibits and destroys physical health, but which can prevent any stable advancement in mental or spiritual well-being. Okay, so we're going to move on here. You can finish reading this on your own at your own time. It's linked in the description. Now, I've gone over this before. This is about the sauna method of detoxification. People ask, probably, well, people say that what L. Ron Hubbard said doesn't work. Au contraire, it actually does. Okay, so the results, data from the medical charts, client self-reports, blah, 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 conclusions. 
The regime lacked serious adverse events and had very sl very low discontinuation rate and high client reported satisfaction. The SF-36 data indicated improved physical and emotional symptoms. Therefore, broader investigation of this sauna-based treatment regime is warranted. Okay. So, it helped with the amelioration of withdrawal symptoms. Okay. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends the recognition and treatment of chemical-related illnesses based on clinical signs, blah, 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 multi-system symptoms, blah, 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 exposure to pesticides, yada, yada, yada. The Hubbard Detoxification Protocol, so the purification rundown, or the clear body, clear mind thing, or the Narconon program, the Hubbard Detoxification Protocol combines exercise, nutrient supplementation and low temperature sauna to enhance chemical elimination and improve symptoms common to chemical exposure okay after the protocols release in 1979 described the regime's safety and ability to reduce symptoms and improve mental functioning among individuals with a variety of chemical or illicit drug exposures now ask yourself this how many people do you know that have gone to a regular run-of-the-mill drug rehab that look like they've improved most of them do not appear to have improved primarily because they are switching out the street drugs for psychopharmaceuticals so and nearly 40 years, whereas this is a legitimate alternative that genuinely removes toxins from the body and improves the health of the individual through exercise, nutrient supplementation, and the sauna. In nearly 40 years of application, the regime, this regime, uh, of this regime to occupational or environmental exposures, studies have shown statistically significant reductions in human chemical pollutants. So it has been shown that it's statistically measurable that the Hubbard method actually does work. Now I just showed you that what the establishment has to offer does not have statistical evidence that it works. Okay? Think about that. So this is an alternative to what the establishment is offered. This is why people like Leah Ramini can get away with saying the things that they say. This is why the, uh, the, the establishment, the, uh, the medical establishment, the government establishment, the political establishment, why they can say the things that they do. Because this is an alternative. So, the safety of long-term health improvements and cleanup workers after the Chernobyl disaster, blah, 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 described health improvements and reduced symptoms of chronic neurotoxicity among police officers exposed to methamphetamine during law enforcement activities. Okay. So, this is not some bullshit thing. This is legitimate scientific evidence that the Hubbard method legitimately works okay so it shows distribution of blah, blah 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 this is the tables change in health related quality of life scoring mechanism produced at blah 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 blah, blah. okay post you Okay, higher scores indicate better self-assessed health and well-being, function, uh, physical functioning, role limitations due to physical health, role limitations due to emotional health. Now, I would like to have seen better measurement than self uh, than self-reporting or self-assessment, but it's still there. It's a measurement. Anticipated and unanticipated discomforts and medical... Okay, the Food and Drug Administration defines an adverse event as any undesirable experience, blah, blah, blah. This shows the frequency of different reported events, yada, 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 or program discontinuation for physician uh, visits was body aches. So it was mostly body aches, probably from the exercise. Although this may be regime-related, it is also a result of the osteopathic physician participant relationship and the convenience of osteopathic manipulations. 
So osteopathic manipulations can cause a little bit of soreness after they manipulate you. The same thing as like a chiropractor. Common reasons for missing treatment days were insufficient sleep, unrelated medical appointments, and digestive discomfort. Per protocol, patients who achieve less than 6.5 hours of sleep have their next day's treatment shortened to minimum of 2.5 hours. Clients who have had insufficient sleep to tolerate even a shorter session instead receive hands-on assistance to remedy the sleeplessness as the NLDP regimen, blah, blah, blah. This, okay. Why might a chemical exposure regime benefit the substance abusing population? Drugs add to a complex chemical, uh, toxic chemical milieu that affects health and behavior. In terms of chemical exposures, the concept of detoxification, more accurately biotransformation, refers to the metabolic process by which the toxin, the toxic qualities of a substance are reduced and then, then eliminated from the body, like environmental metals, blah, 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 blah. So this helps to remove toxic substances from the body. Biotransformation of both drugs and toxic chemicals involves members of a large cytochrome family, blah, 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 both chemically sensitive, yada, yada, yada. Both drugs and toxic chemicals influence dopamine reward pathways. Uh, you can finish reading this on your own, but my point is this is a legitimate establishment with legitimate measurable results where people are actually getting better. Moving forward. When we come back, I'm going to uh, talk about the use of this same system to remove arsenic, cadmium, or cadmium, lead, mer and mercury in the, through the sweat. I'm going to go over, there were uh, apparently some uh, deaths at a Narconon uh, thing that were blown way out of proportion. I'm going to show you why they were blown out of proportion. So I'm going to go over the CEO answering accusations about deaths in our rehab. And I'm going to show the facts are that people die all the time in the establishments, psychiatric hospitals and drug rehabil uh, re uh, rehabilitation centers all the time. So, the thing is, what you have to understand with drug-addicted parties is they tend not to be the healthiest population, and even with the best medical screening, it's hard to rule out those that may have underlying health conditions. However, in rehabs, drug rehabs that are establishment, not the other kind, not the, not the uh, you know, not the alternative, but the establishment's drug rehabs, uh, they have medical staff and all this jazz there. I mean, there's really, a lot of these are, you know, they have attended nurses, doctors, etc. at these drug rehabs. Uh, it's, it's because of irresponsibility. Having previously worked in mental health, I can tell you there is a lot of irresponsibility at the drug rehabs and a lot of the people working at the drug rehabs are very, very uh, dishonest. And the fact that Narconon offers a, an alternative that actually works, it actually is removing these toxins from the system and actually teaching these people life skills to get them back into society and to make them function at a higher level, as opposed to the rehab system that is literally just milking insurance and all this stuff, it leads you to wonder why does the establishment attack Scientology so much? And the simple answer is because it is an alternative to the status quo. So that'll be when we come back.